Her fans say she's one of the most real YouTubers out there. Please welcome this year's host of YouTube Fan Fest Toronto. Lauren Toyota. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah. So um, first off, so you were, people out there you will recognize you because you were a VJ, you were a television producer for mm -hmm. 10 years. Yeah, almost 10 years, yeah. Right. And so uh, what made you decide, you know what, I'm going to make the jump to online from traditional TV? I had dabbled in some online content when I was working in television and then I had a little bit of a break and went back and working for much music. Um, and YouTube was this elusive thing that I didn't quite understand in all my years of broadcasting. It seemed like I thought I was going to be in television on a broadcast network, you know, for my whole life. I wanted to be like Oprah. Um, and then TV's fickle and TV changes. And I had, like, been moved around and switched around and changed shows and shows canceled. And that's basically what happened. And Bell Media got laid off. But anyways, it was a great opportunity. And it just made sense for me to keep doing what I loved, which was being on camera, talking, and getting to share with that audience I had built over the years. And YouTube was the only place I could really go say what I wanted to say, do what I wanted to do, and I've found so much freedom doing that, and I've, I've loved it. It's only been just about a year and a half. Right. Yeah. Was the transition hard to go from traditional television to online media? At first, yes, because I cared so much about what everything looked like. You have this sort of standard of quality with broadcast television. You know, everything's polished and pretty, and you're all done up or whatever, and with online content and with a lot of YouTube content, people just want to see who you truly are. And I think I got into a little bit of that just through social media and being able to use Twitter while I was on television. But I could just really strip everything back. I could sit there and talk for 20 minutes if I wanted to, and people were listening. So at first it was hard because I was really fixated on what's it going to look like? It has to be perfect. This is how I know how to produce. And once I let go of, I guess, some of that pressure and expectation, I really just kind of came into what I wanted to do creatively. Yeah. Right. And we're just taking a, a look right now at uh, that's you and your partner, John. Yeah. yeah. And you guys. So tell us a little bit about what you have going on YouTube. You have two channels, two separate uh, things. Yeah. Going so on. what you saw there with John and I is hot for food and hot for food is a vegan recipe channel uh, where it's just all vegan food porn we try to make vegan food look really appealing and appetizing uh, basically the same as any other type of food we're trying to make vegan look cool and hot and tasty and so every Wednesday we release recipe videos uh, that are unique and it's vegan comfort food and people have a lot of success remaking those recipes from our channel and we try to make it kind of funny and fun and show a little bit of our personalities and our relationship together. Right. So we cook together. And then my channel is uh, Lauren in Real Life. And it's a vlog channel. It's a little more behind the scenes of Hot for Food, my vegan lifestyle and kind of what I do when I travel, how do I eat, and what do I eat. I actually show what I eat in an actual day a lot, which people really love because they just, they just, don't get it. They want to know what does a vegan eat? How do you right. how do you live? And some of the stuff looks incredible that you act, that you make, and it, it looks like you know the scrambled eggs that you normally would eat, but it's it's vegan. So you give a lot of people um, some background and some ideas, and let them know that it's not as hard as it, it, it looks. It really isn't, and it's just a switch in your mind. And we're really able to like talk to people in a way that they get. And people are making we, we, the comments we get are omnivores changing their diets slowly mm -hmm. and transitioning, and that's all we want is we just want people to start experimenting and opening their minds to different types of food. Okay, so what can we expect? Because you are going to be the host of YouTube Fan Fest <gasps> yes. here in Toronto. What can we expect coming up next week? So much pressure. Well, YouTube Fan Fest, this is the second year it's in North America, in Toronto. It was massive last year with 15,000 people showing up here at Young and Dundas Square. This year is going to be bigger and better than ever. It's going to be so exciting. Lily Singh, Superwoman, is headlining the show. And it's basically a combination of so many types of entertainment and edutainment. Comedy, music, dance, fashion um, with Canadian superstars from YouTube and also international stars coming together and connecting with their fans okay. in person. Great. Okay, yeah. so we look forward to that next week. Lauren, thanks so much for joining us. Tickets to YouTube Fan Fest in Toronto this year. It's August 13th. The tickets are actually free. They They're going to be granted entry to fans. You just have to register tickets through Ticketmaster as well, and you can head to breakfasttelevision.ca for more info there. We'll send it up to Kevin next.